Hi guys, I'm Brandy and I am three weeks and three days um, into recovery from my my two level ACDF surgery. Um, I wanted to talk in this video about the neck collar. I got my neck collar like, I wanna say I called the company. They were supposed to call me like to set up the appointment to come in and then show me like how to use it and everything. But I called them and asked if I could come in like a month like a month before my surgery and they said I could so I went in there and the representative was really nice he taught me how to use it it is I have an Aspen collar and it's basically velcroed has padding on the inside and it keeps my neck really stable um, to be honest with you once you have a surgery like this you realize how important you are, how important your body is, how important your neck is. And um, for me, like, I just could, couldn't could care less about what other people think of me walking around in a neck brace. So um, I, I wear it every single day. I wear it, uh, I don't sleep in it, but I do, I put it on immediately when I first wake up in the morning and I go brush my teeth, brush and floss my teeth and then I, out of this room and I go to greet my one-year-old and um, I just feel so much safer with it on because I know like my kids aren't gonna bump into me or like um, I'm safer I'm more secure in case I was to like trip on something or you know I know that I'm sometimes I feel pretty good so sometimes like I can forget if I don't have it on I can forget that I need to be careful with my neck and um, I can flip my head around and I cannot do that you're not supposed to do any kind of crazy movements my surgeon's office said if I put my thumbs this back like straight out in front of me that I should be able to just turn my chin to face my thumbs and that's enough movement that's enough uh, like small passive movement so I don't know what anybody else surgeons say, but that's just what mine told me. So I'm not giving any medical advice. I'm just saying that um, what I was told from my surgeon and everybody's different. Everybody's situation is different. Everybody's neck is different. So yours may be a little more strict. Um, and they might be stricter than mine, I don't know. So. Um, just go by whatever your surgeon tells you to do. Don't listen to me. This is just what I do. So I don't sleep in it and I can take it off like when I take showers and also I can take it off if I'm by myself. If I feel like I'm in a safe place where I'm not going to, um, I don't have any risks of falling or um, any kind of weird, you know, inertia um, that's going to bounce my, my neck around. Um, like the car um, that I can take it off it's, as long as I make sure to remember that I need to be careful with my neck so in my case I've had a couple scares where I felt like I couldn't trust myself anymore because I accidentally flipped my neck around forgetting that I needed to be careful so um, I like to wear it it doesn't bother me not too hot it's not uncomfortable um, it makes me feel safe so I guess it's accomplishing what it's supposed to I'm not embarrassed of it some people ask about it some people don't make eye contact with me and that's okay um, so yeah <laughs> I'm let's see they told me that if the padding inside gets yucky, that I can change it out. They gave me a replacement, and I can also call the company like to get more replacements whenever I want. Or if it doesn't feel comfortable, I can call the representative, and he'll come to my house and um, help me figure it out. So I feel very um, taken care of as far as the neck brace goes. It has Velcro on both sides and the representative marked with a Sharpie marker like where I should line up <clears throat> the line. 
on both sides. I wear it a little bit tighter than that because I feel a little more comfortable when it's a little more tighter. Um, let's see. So the car, wearing the neck brace in the car, um, it definitely doesn't like feel like it protects me a hundred percent when I'm in the car, mostly because when you're, when you're in a car, like it naturally kind of bounces. Like whenever you don't really realize it until you have something like this happen to you and then you're in a neck brace and you're trying to keep your neck still and, and, um, you're like kind of hunched over because the car seat is like curved and the headrest is curved forward and it's just a really uncomfortable like I feel like somebody in this industry who does spinal care needs to be more involved in making the making of the seats of cars because my headrest pushes my head forward makes my shoulders hunch over might be because of my height I don't really know it also, the, the roof of the car, like I have to bend my whole body to be able to put my head in around the frame to get in the car, and it's just annoying. So I don't like to be in the car very much. Um, and when when we're in, just, even just driving down the freeway, like just the bumps like this, it kind of, it gets weary on after a while on my like muscles and stuff around my neck and I feel um, like my head starts to feel heavy, like it's just tired. My muscles feel tired and my head feels heavy and I just don't like that feeling. So I try to be in the car for no more than 30 minutes at a time. Um, I have been in the car for more than 30 minutes at a time before and um, it just really did me in. I found myself in bed for the rest of the day and then like most of the next day, it, I just didn't like it. So, um, yeah. You take the collar off by undoing the Velcro and you just pop it off. You can pop it off either side, it's fine. I can actually separate it into two pieces because it's just connected by Velcro. This part is the back and it um, touches the back of my head. It kind of holds it up in place and then my chin goes in here, but you're not supposed to have your chin back too far because it's just not correct. So kind of like keep this as close, as tight as you can get it without choking yourself. Um, and then what else? Like I notice that sometimes when I'm sitting down and because you're in kind of a relaxed position when you're sitting down, I will use this to rest my head instead of using my own muscles to hold my head up. So when I do that, um, for some reason it puts a lot more strain on my muscles and my body doesn't like it. So I have to really be intentional about uh, proper posture and um, holding my head up with my own muscles instead of getting lazy and holding my head up with the Aspen collar instead. So I hope that makes sense. Um, anyway, so I took it off. Now I'm gonna put it back on. Put it, I like put it as close to my neck as I can get it. Move my ponytail around. Now my hair is the most pain in the butt part of putting on the collar because I have long hair. I do have a clip that I use in the mornings to kind of clip it up on top of my head. But there you go. Um, it's comfortable. It's really comfortable. It's not. It's not anything that's unbearable or that I could could not do. Um, I feel safer with it when I'm out and about. And I know that it's it's here to help me, and it's very useful. So I like it. Um, before I had surgery, I thought I was going to hate it and be so embarrassed and that it was gonna be so uncomfortable and this and that. But I guess the hardest part is like, today we went to the flea market and we're walking down the center aisle. So whenever I go to a store, you're walking down the center aisle and unless you're looking at something dead on, 
it's really hard to look around but I mean that's with or without the collar that's just because you have the surgery so like to be able to look to my left or to my right I have to turn my whole body so <laughs> like I kind of have to get a lock on with my eyes like ahead of time if I see something way out in the distance that I want to see that I want to stop and look at and then when I get to it then I'll turn my body and look at it so um I'm getting used to it I'm not that embarrassed of it anymore and um, I know that it's here to help me so it's not that bad and it's comfortable so um, that's all I wanted to talk about and if you have any other questions about the neck collar and anything else that I can answer um, just drop me a comment but um, yeah so that's all that's all I wanted to talk about in this video so I hope you all have a good day Thanks.